89 rated Emilio Butchuqueno. He can see here five foot six, medium low, three star, five star. Can play striker, center forward. Really good agility, balance, composure. Fantastic short pass. Unbelievably good finishing. Great shot power. Fantastic acceleration of sprint speed. We have got finesse shot, chip shot. We have also got ourselves first touch, flare, technical plus, quick step, and traveller. Now, technical plus is really, really nice to have for a small striker. It's when you hold down RB or R1 and when you dribble. Now, we jump over to footbin. We have got ourselves a hunter. Now, the reason we've got ourselves a hunter is to maximize that pace as well as get his finishing up to 99 and shot power to 89. Makes him into a 91 rated striker. You could argue going for a hawk to maximize the shot power. But we've just gone to maximize all stats. Now, we are playing in a 4-2-3-1. And the thing I love about this card is because of how small he is, with that high agility and balance and having that technical plus, that means he's going to be lightning fast, running in between defenders, getting yourself the extra space in behind. Not only that, he's got a lean body type, which is a really good body type to have for somebody with this really high agility and balance. Being 168 centimeters, he's very, very small in game. And I'm interested to see how he plays. Now, we are going to play in a 4-2-3-1 in Rivals. Let's go jump into some gameplay and see how we got on Butchaquenio today. So, we are in Elite Division and we are playing in a 4-2-3-1 with Butchaquenio up front on his own. Now, his main job, of course, is to get goals. No surprise there. But also to link up. Because of how small he is, I don't play the ball in the air anyway. I do like to keep it on the deck. So, on the field, basically on the ground. With loads of link up passing. And I think Butchaquenio is going to be fantastic for that. Now, just to X show you what this X technical plus does, it just means he moves so quick, as you can see there, and opens up a lot of space to be able to drive in between the lines nice and clean. And obviously, having five star weak foot, as our opponent gets through here, having five star weak foot just means he's going to be able to go left or right. It really doesn't matter. Having that high short pass as well, as our opponent's doing that 81 or 79 depth thing. It means he's also going to have so much space on top. So we're going to see how we get on. We've got a very sweaty game ahead of us no matter what. And let's see if Butchaquenio can carry us to victory today. Oh, here we go, Butcher. Good hold up play. Lovely little touch there to find a way through. Ah, oh, he's just offside. That's poor from me. I had him clean through. But you can see that's the role he's going to play. Picking up the ball on his own. Turning around, doing little one-twos. And then getting in the space behind and trying to break down with that pace. Could have had him clean through there if I was just a little bit quicker with my passes. Ah, oh, he's gone for the finesse. It's going to go in. Yeah, we got someone that's spamming finesses with player of the months. Got Butra here. Lovely ball. Using that pace to get away. Van Dyke's come over and we've been absolutely hacked down as we're about to shoot. And it looks like a red card as well. But you can see that is the thing with him with his pace. And I reckon he's going to quit as well, which is a shame. He has been spamming the uh, finesse shots. We'll have to see if he does quit or not. But this is something that's really good about Butchaquenio is if you do get him through, nobody can catch him because of the explosive play style or accelerate type he has, sorry. As well as having that hunter on to maximize. You just saw there we dragged away. Now, it looks like he's playing, which is nice to see. We're going to see if he can take any set pieces. So he's got 89-78. He's average at best. So what we're going to do here is do the old classic run over the top, play it straight to him and see if we can shoot across goal. Takes a touch. Green time. Oh, not even green time in the end. We got shot off, though. A bit unlucky there. So we have got ourselves a man advantage now. Let's see if we can capitalize on this. I do have a feeling that if we do equalize, he may quit. So we'll have to see. Lovely touch there. Butchaquenio just holding up. Using that technical plus to get some space. Reset the attack for a minute. Got Salah here. That's a poor pass in the end. We do capitalize, and then Kevin De Bruyne gives it away. Got Butra here. Opponent turn. Green time and a fantastic finish. He even moved his goalkeeper, but because of that high finish in his shot power, we could bury it across goal. Now we're 1-0. Looks like he's going to play as well, so I'm actually quite happy he isn't quitting. Butra running again. Our last man. The same thing. You can see he's through. Ball around the keeper, and we've got the shot off, and the AI's got in the way. That's a shame. But you can see how quick he is. Every time there's a half a yard of space, bang. He's gone through. No one's catching him. Thank you very much. Butcher again. Do find him. He's got a little bit of work to do. Does play it back. It's a lovely pass out. Now we can reset the attack, get that space. And unfortunately, Griezmann has made a really bad pass there. Guys has a bit of space in behind. Butcher in between. 
Ah, he's offside, unfortunately. I'm going to make a change here. I'm actually going to bring on another person who can pass a bit better. Because we've got the extra man now, we can bring on Mkhitaryan, who's got incisive pass plus. And just try and get those balls in behind for Butcher, because he's got so much space now. Especially with the red card that we're against, we should be able to break him down a bit better. And Griezmann, as much as I really think he's a fantastic card, it's just passing isn't quite up there with the likes of Mkhitaryan. Pretty obvious, but that's the change we're going to make here, as we don't get capitalized here. Good tackle. And go for the cutback. And we are 3-1 down against our red card. This is the level of people that we are playing. Top tier players. Red cards don't matter too much. I'm going to carry on. I do think we're going to get ourselves back in this game. We've been very unlucky with certain situations. Especially the second goal that he scored. What we are looking to do here though. Is maybe bring on Ansu Fati instead of Son. Not because I don't think... Actually, we're, sorry, I'm going to lie to you. They're going to swap Salah off as well. So we're going to take Salah off, get a bit more pace on the width there, and we can just try and pace him out. He is very, very good. He's obviously switched to a very defensive formation now, which I don't blame him for doing. I understand with a player missing, but hopefully he doesn't pass it around the back. He doesn't seem like a toxic player, but now I've said that, it looks like he is actually passing it around the back. Yeah, he's time-wasting now, of course. Why did I have to be nice to him? Right, we've intercepted. Butra here. So great ball into the space. Still got a bit of work to do. We're going to play it back to Mkhitaryan. Butra running. Lovely hold up. Back to Butra again. Lovely link up. Shot across goal and a fantastic save. But you can see that's how good he is with the link up. We should have had a goal there. Another day that goes in. Butra. Green time. Yellow time. Sorry. And there is the goal again. We had Butcher in the other situation where the goals so were back in this game now. 3-2. Like I said, the goals are going to come, especially if our opponent is going to start time wasting. Oh, we've intercepted. Butcher, he's tried to take us down. Keep a movement, and we've got the hatchet with him. 3 all. This is why you don't time waste. He's been really, really good. Now he's decided to time waste, and he's managed to lose two goals because of it. Let's see if we can go get that winner now. Hopefully he doesn't... Actually, to be honest with you, I wish he carries on doing that. Again, we intercept. Got Son through here. Lovely pass. Keepers come out early. Green time. And now we have got the lead. This is why we have Butcher Quenya in the team. May not have been involved in that attack in particular. But what he did do was basically drag a defender out. Because obviously he's got a hat trick. And he's that dangerous that you can't leave him open on his own. Well, let's go. Counter attack. Butcher running. I see him. Lovely hold up. One, two. Can we return the favour? We can. Again, great hold up from him. Gives us that extra pass if we need it. And then I accidentally pass it to the wrong person. Do keep that pressure on, though. Butcher in between the lines. Oh, so 50-50 turn there. If I go the other way, I'm clean through. If he goes the wrong way, I'm clean through. Let's go. Counter attack. Got Butcher here. Bit of skill. Gets the space open. Using that dribble plus. Uh, oh, it's a nearly really good no-look pass there for Ansu Fati. Do intercept, keeping that pressure on. Butcher out wide. Ball roll. Great defense there. It's a shame. I tried to do the technical pass passing, but sometimes people can defend it. It's not a problem. Again, keeping that pressure on, but he's managed to intercept and get the pressure on us. Good control. Looking for the space. Butra. Free kick. We have got a free kick on the edge here. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier. Going to get Buchaquenya here and we're going to try and basically run over the top because he's got a man on the line. And we're going to see if we can get that pass off and just drill it into near post or across goal, depending on the situation. Not the best pass, I have to say. And we've been absolutely tacked down. Going to go for the finesse on the edge. Corner players bounced off him and put him in a better situation. Love to see it. Great tackle. Right, let's go. Counter attack. Butcher's running. Through ball into the space. He's clean through. And an easy goal there. We had to, I had to concentrate. It's right at the effort of the game. But you can see the movement. Peels off his man. Lovely through ball into that space. That's what we brought on those extra passes. He then tried to hack us down because he knew Butcher wasn't going to miss. We waited for the goalkeeper movement. Tapped it into an open net. Fantastic. Let's see if we can hold out for the win now. Butcher Quenya has been absolutely fantastic for us. Tried to do the kickoff glitch. No surprise there. Saw that coming from a mile away. Still managed to get it off, though. I can't tackle him. And he scored it. Of course he has. 
This game needs to be fixed, man. Like, I bounced off three tackles there to get that off. And, of course, push them out. We've only got one attack here. We've got to make sure it's worthwhile. Butchers beat the offside trap. And there is the winner. <laughs> Karma's got you. What lovely movement for Butcher Quenyo there. And it looks like we've got ourselves a rage quit. Let's go jump over to Putbin. So Butcher is around about 1.2 million coins, give or take. Now, I think this is a very good value card. I do think if we can get him a little bit cheaper, definitely consider it. There is nothing against the card. I think he's fantastic. It's just his height is a little bit one-dimensional. So what I mean by that is you have to keep the ball on the ground a lot because he's not going to win headers. And sometimes you need to play against those type of people that are going to win headers. Now, we played him up front on his own. He could definitely play out wide, left wing, right wing. He can play out front on his own. He can play as a two if you have a big man next to him, like a big striker, like a Giroud. And him next to him is going to be fantastic. But if not on his own, it's going to be absolutely fantastic as well. Making him into a hunter gives him a 91 rated card. Now, I normally go for a Hawk because of the shot power. I like to have my shot power up really high to like 90 plus if possible. But even at 89, with this 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed with a hunter and being explosive, you saw how quick he was. He broke between the lines almost every single time and he was uncatchable. He is so, so good, especially on the left stick dribbling if you like to turn really quick. Yes, three-star skill moves are a little bit of an issue if you like to do skill moves, but it's not the end of the world with this card. He is a top, top-tier striker. Unbelievably clinical we saw today. Not only that, he can hold up on his own, which is fantastic to see with someone of his height. Was concerned with the strength. Don't get me wrong, strength is a problem, but it is a minor one if you know how to get around it. His link-up play is fantastic. His finishing is top tier. Having the finesse shot as well is really nice to have. And the, um, the Traveller. With the quick step and first touch just means he explodes every single time you get him the ball. And he is going to be a fantastic addition to your team. There is rumours of a Max 89 Icon SPC coming out. So if you get him from that, you've hit yourself a massive, huge dub there. If you have any questions about this card or any other card, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you use your channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.